All right, so Nvidia has been having a tough time. The same goes with the rest of the market lately. Um, and uh, recently after the Fed chat discussion and putting some panic into the market, um, which they normally do, uh, we are now continuing to go a bit lower. So the question is, is where can we go? What can we expect? And as we get some more selling pressure, how bad can it get? So that's what we'll take a look at. I'm going to use expected moves. And if you have never heard of expected moves, it comes from the uh, options world. And it's really where, you know, what's expected in terms of where's money positioned and what can we expect in the same way that maybe a driver uh, on a road, um, how fast can they go or how fast are they going? So let's go and take a look at this. And if you want to learn a ton more, uh, definitely check out our website, go to tradersfly.com. There's a ton of great courses and material. And you can also uh, take a look at our other website, uh, criticalcharts.com. Uh, which also has some uh, other content that's stock related specific to the charts. So anyways, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And uh, let's go and take a look at the overall markets right now. And especially looking at NVIDIA, uh, if we see it's down almost uh, $12, you got uh, just overall, the market is quite red. So we've got uh, quite a handful of problems here happening um, in the marketplace. So as it's kind of moving and wiggling here, uh, we've, we've got a lot of selling pressure and that's not looking too good. So <sighs> A lot of times you can take a look at uh, charts and see, and we can say, okay, well, let's look at the charts, let's evaluate it, let's analyze it and uh, see where things go. But sometimes it's easier to look at things based on uh, the options market or the options world. And it comes from a point of uh, standard deviation. So if we look at this and we look at standard deviations, if you kind of don't know what it means, I'm just gonna use a basic example. So let's say you can drive and we'll just use a driving example because I think it's uh, it's easier to uh, discuss. Let's say the average speed limits 80, 80 kilometers an hour, 80 miles an hour, whatever. Most people are driving around 80. Now, there are some people that drive around 90. Other people will drive around 70. So this is kind of a normal range, normal range between 70 and 90. So that's a plus 10. Uh, sorry, plus 10 on this side or a minus 10 on this side. So we're between 70 and 80. And this creates a lot of the data points right here. So most of the time, uh, that's kind of what people are driving. Now, there are some times where some people are driving 60 and some people are driving 100, but that's, uh, you know, a little bit more, eh, you know, it might be uh, like an oversized truck that's over here or uh, somebody that's going a little bit more wild over there. Um, and then you also have some people in the 50s or even going 110, okay? So now what we're looking at is really a problem or a broken down uh, car, uh, which could be way over here. Somebody's pulled over on the road, okay? Or, or somebody over here going 120 uh, on a motorcycle popping a wheelie. So the point being here is most of the time we're kind of in this range, okay? And the same goes with stock prices. So they're most of the time moving about this much, but sometimes they move a great deal to the downside or a great deal to the upside. So when we start looking at this in terms of the expected moves, we can use this uh, to find what we can expect from NVIDIA. So if we look at uh, NVDA and we take a look at uh, the trade tab in the next, let's say we look at the next 30 days, this expected move right here is $40, $40. Oof, what does that mean? That means that if I go in and take the $410 stock price that we have, we could go up or down $40. That means if we look at this uh, as a curve, ah, bad curve, curve, and we have a $410 stock price, we could go up $40. So that means we go up to $450 or down $40. So that would be $370. So that would go with one standard deviation move. But we know that sometimes things go a little crazy. So what if it actually pops and goes to 490? So that would be kind of a second standard deviation move. But on the downside, it could also go to, uh, uh, we could go to uh, three, what is that, 330, okay? 40 points, right? So that's a double standard deviation move. And on the worst case, so this is a two standard deviation move. This is a one, this is a one, this is a two. And on the worst or more worse situation, we could even get to somewhere around 290 or up at the top around uh, 530. So think about that for a minute. This stock has a potential to go between 290 and 530 in the next 30 days. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. Now that's very unlikely, 
most of the time will be somewhere between 370 and 450, just like in the driving example. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So that means we can expect that this stock will be somewhere over there. But if we go down 40 points, that's 370. That'll put that chart um, and we take a look at NVIDIA. 370, that'll only put it right here. Now, look at what's fascinating about that. That is right where that gap is. Isn't that kind of uh, cool and interesting? So when you start looking at standard deviation moves and expected moves, um, they kind of tell you a lot of things. And this comes from one of the courses that we have on our website, on the tradersfly.com website, um, where you can look at the standard deviation. So most of the standard deviation, one standard deviation move plus or minus is 68.3% of the data. Uh, then if you go uh, two standard deviation moves, that'll be 95.5% uh, of the data. And then three will be 997 So that's how we're encompassing a lot of this uh, data point. So if we're looking for a pullback, Back and we're looking for a certain amount, um, you're actually looking at, hey, well, uh, chance of it hitting a two standard deviation move, this, this part or bracket is 13.6%. Um, and over here, it's only 2.1%. But to encompass both zones, you have a bigger range. Anyways, not a mathematician or anything like that, but roughly using these things, uh, you can get a, an idea of, hey, this stock has that potential to get to 370 in the next 30 days. So, from a from a non bias perspective, that's what the options market is telling us. Now, from a hey, let's be a little biased. Well, it's got these kinds of products, these sales. It's this company. It's got brand recognition. That's a whole different ball game. Okay, and in that case, we could say, hey, well, we've got support around 380, 375. We've got a gap over here. So another spot is 320. So we're looking at the charts or technicals. We do have some resistance overhead at around 480. So that could be a struggle point. So there are some spots right there um, that are, you know, uh, could be some cushion or some areas of problems. You can also start looking at the trend. One of the things I like to do is just color code my moving average. So in this case, this is the 89 moving average exponential, and that is the daily chart. So if it's moving to the upside, meaning like if the moving average is actually trending up, meaning the last day is higher than, uh, the, the recent day is higher than the previous day, it's trending green. If it's kind of moving on the downside, it's, it's red. So without any color on the bars, we are actually starting to trend red right now. So that is an area of concern. So that's one thing to watch and something to keep an eye on. So I'd be a little bit more cautious in that zone. So be mindful here uh, that we start to rotate in the stock. And uh, we did have a trend here to the downside and then we trended to the upside. So uh, range expansion could be some contraction and uh, that could put you somewhere back uh, supporting near these levels uh, at those if we start pulling back a little more. So I'm not saying panic, I'm just saying what's kind of possible. And I know there probably will be some people in the video that say, no way, it's NVIDIA. Or they'll say, hey, that's not possible. But I could tell you uh, previous occasions, uh, if we look back to the days of Enron stock and uh, the Enron scandal, um, you know, when you look back to what happened here, Voila! I'm not saying that NVIDIA has a scandal or anything like that. I'm just saying anything is possible. So we have to uh, look at the marketplace as it's, it's possible, but is it likely? And uh, that's the case. So right now we are slightly shifting. I, I think likeliness is, hey, we'll probably hold support around 373 or 370, somewhere around that zone. We probably will get a little bit of a pullback. If we don't hold that support, maybe 315, 305, 300, that level could be support because we will have that gap in that zone. So that's just kind of my take and my insight. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously you can make your own judgment call and position accordingly. Um, and uh, you got to make your own choices in the market. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to check out tradingwebinars.co. There's a great options uh, jumpstart course if you're new to uh, options. So take a look at that. Uh, there's tons to learn and, um, you know, tons to uh, get out of the uh, knowledge base that we have in the mini courses, the free PDFs, um, and much more. So definitely check out our website. And I hope to see you in one of the future courses material, or maybe do a one-on-one -on -one coaching session uh, with me together, uh, which is also found on our websites. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.